YouTube, it is me, Tri-State EDC, with a Wii Knives pouch that doesn't have a Wii in it. There are no Wiis here. There are no Wiis to be seen here. What I think this is, is something from Grambo Knives. So you be... Uh, I'm pretty excited about this one. I just reviewed the smaller version of this recently. And this is the Big Papa version. The old one. I think. I could be wrong. Only one way to find out. Let's bust her open. <laughs> Right, Wee Knives pouch, not a Wee Knives knife, but let's unzip it and see, oh yeah, see what she shall bequeath unto us. Oh, oh, oh yeah, that is the Grambo Rust. Nothing left in there, see? <laughs> Bye. Uh, yeah, dude. Yeah, dude, this is the original Grambo Knives Rust. I just, I, I'm, I'm about to send it back. I'm glad I'm filming this now. This is the new one. I have the new one. This is the Grambo Knives Russ EDC. It's just a little smaller. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? So this is the original, man. Um, the EDC is the new one. 2024 uh, pre-order going on right now. Um, this is the old one. This came out last year sometime. This was the original, I believe. Uh, and that's a big boy, dude. That's a big boy. We still have that beautiful texturing that covers the lock bar. So it's technically a bolster lock. They've just completely covered it. There's no bolster to be seen, right? So it's very interesting how they've done that. Nice flat section milled into this piece so that the pocket clip works well. Nice 3D milled pocket clip. Titanium, all titanium. Beautiful, big old thumb studs. I love the peekaboo see-through pivot and back body screw. It's a nice touch. It's just interesting to see. Uh, this is a full-size knife. Spider Co. Pair 3 for size comparison. Tactile Knife Co. Rockwall. Yeah. Oh yeah, Bob. See what I'm seeing here? Big boy. Let me flick her open. Oh, yeah. Just as good, dude. Yep. Look at that. Beautiful, clean drop point. Nice decorative swedge. This kind of polished stone wash finish going on. Hollow grind. Uh, M390 on the blade steel. Future me, who makes these? Is it Best Tech? God, they did an amazing job with this. Nice jimping on the blade spine. Tons of internal milling, which is nice to see. Clean show side, that decorative reverse. Man, that's good. God, that's good. Uh, Ergo's in hand. Yeah, much bigger knife. Fills the hand. Easy four-finger grip. Fills the hand nicely. Thumb on that jimping. That feels good. Nice. It's not the the grippiest jimping in the world, but it's got a decent enough grip and a kind of a slight ramp to it. So I'm locked in right about here. That feels good. Choke up. No real finger toil, but I can get right about here. Thumb on the blade. Feels good. No issues there. Pinch grip. Hmm. 50, 60% of the day at best. It's a bigger knife, a little back heavy, you know what I mean? And there's no real finger toil, but there's a sharpening toil. So, is what it is. Uh, open size comparison on this big, beefy boy. Yeah. Much bigger than the pair three, much bigger than the rock wall. Whoops. Yoink. Yeah. Full size knife. Not giant, not a behemoth, but she big. She be big. Action running on ceramic bearings. Whoop. Yeah. Thumb flicks, excellent. Crispy, thwacky detent. Reverse flick, same story, pal. And because this is covering the lock bar, it's lefty friendly. The clip is not reversible, but it is a lefty friendly knife. Um, action wise, you know what I mean? Front flipper, sure can. You sure can. Reach around, sure can. Not quite as easy as the EDC. That was definitely one of the changes they made on the EDC model, the smaller version, is it's much easier to front flip than this. But this works. I'm still, if, if this is my knife, I'm front flicking. Front flicking? I am thumb flicking and reverse flicking all day long. Easy access to that lock bar. Absolutely drops on those bearings. Buttery smooth. No bearing rattle. No grit. Yeah. Just nice, clean, well thought out. Act, uh, the action's really good. Acoustics. Nothing too crazy. Acoustically, but... Still makes a good noise. Still satisfying. Still gets me going. Yeah, that is clean. I like that. I do want to show you an open size comparison with the new one. That is the EDC, the smaller guy on, on the top there. Yeah, so this guy's taller, longer, girthier, thicker. This is just a more pocket-friendly, the new version. So I approve. Of the two, I this would be the one I'm getting personally. This one's just a little too big for me. 
I say that a lot, but it is what it is. Uh, very, very nice. Grambo, Grambo knives, man. Doing, doing killer, killer work. Killer, killer work. I do want to put that nice hollow grind to the test, though. Uh, M390, hollow ground. Definitely want to cut something. Let me grab some paper. Let's see what we see. Let us see what we see. Well, he probably cared and used this. It's definitely been used. But it's still so nice and thin behind the edge that it's pretty dull. It's pretty dull right now. <laughs> but just because it's so thin behind the edge, she'll still cut. Even, whoopsie, even after being used and abused. Is it a laser beam? No, I'm sure it was out of the box because the EDC that I reviewed is. Yeah, it's excellent. It's excellent. The Grambo Russ and the Grambo Russ EDC. Grambo Knives. Links down below. Check out his stuff. I think the pre-order for the EDC is still open if you want a smaller version of this absolute tank. But that is it. Leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. Become a channel member, Patreon member. Hit me up on Instagram, TikTok, and Threads. But that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.